you talking about some memory problems that I used to have, how I fixed them, how I'm staying mentally sharp and clear as the years go by, and how I hope to prevent future degradation of my memory. Nothing in this video is intended as or should be taken as medical advice. What I find helpful to keep my memory in good shape has four components, diet, supplements, physical exercise, and a particular kind of mental exercise. Regarding diet, I went through two periods when I was having memory issues. The first one was when I was eating a completely plant-based or vegan diet. I'm not putting down people who eat vegan diets. What people eat is their business. I'm just saying that it did not work for me. The longer I stayed vegan, the worse my memory got. My mood also went downhill, and by my third year of being vegan, my sex drive had vanished, and my testosterone levels were extremely low. I was also irritable, and my memory was getting terrible. Adding meat, fish, eggs, and other animal products back into my diet resolved those problems almost literally overnight. I currently eat a diet which includes foods from both plant and animal kingdoms. It's particularly rich in sardines, anchovies, mackerel, and other sources of omega-3 fatty acids which have been found to be important to brain health. Since I'm talking about nutrition, I should add that I also do a lot of fasting. There's some evidence that prolonged fasting at least under some conditions can sharpen both our memories and our mental clarity. One caution though about fasting is that you can't expect it to improve your memory if your diet is low in the nutrients your brain needs to function well. If you're ever fasting and your memory seems to be getting worse during the fast, I would encourage you to stop your fast eat some high nutrient food, and then switch for a while to doing fasting mimicking diets. The problem being, of course, that when we're fasting, there are no nutrients at all coming in, so some essential ones that we need for our brain are just not there. I mentioned that there was a second time when I developed memory problems. It was a period of time when I'd been through some major stressful events, and I actually went into a depression for about two years. During this period, my short-term memory went on the fritz. It got so bad that I was having five or ten short-term memory glitches every day. I tried fixing the memory issues by increasing my intake of fish oil and B vitamins, and that did help somewhat. But what made a night and day difference was taking a supplement called phosphatidylserine. The one that I took, and I'm still taking because I like it so much, is made by Jaro. I also started eating North Atlantic mackerel because they're so high in phosphatidylserine. On the subject of supplements, I take over 40 supplements, though I don't take all of them every day. The ones that I've found to be specifically beneficial for memory are, number one, phosphatidylserine, from Jaro, number two, NMN, from Do Not Age, number three, CERT-6 Activator, a Fucoidin supplement made from seaweed, also from Do Not Age. I consider CERT-6 Activator to be one of the most important supplements to take for anti-aging. And number four, a vitamin B complex which includes ample amounts of vitamin B12. The one I take is from Solgar. In terms of exercise, I do walking and yard work, and I also work out in my home gym three days a week. I've gotten out of the habit of doing HIT lately, but I plan to get back into it. One of the things that I do to sharpen my memory and also to test it, and also because I teach acting classes, is to memorize short scripts. My goal is to memorize them word for word. Here's a short one I memorized for an acting class that I'm teaching. 
I ask the students to memorize it, so I always also try to memorize the scripts myself. Now, I made a video one time when I was talking about memory and I had my eyes open and someone wrote a comment saying, well, wait a minute, your eyes are open. You could just be reading a script. So just to show that I'm not doing that, I will have my eyes closed when I'm reciting these. Okay. And then I'll also be doing what's called a speed through in which you say the words more rapidly. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sure. What do you want for breakfast? Whatever. I'll fix you some scrambled eggs. Fine. You going to work this morning? Have to. Oh, do you want me to stay home? It's up to you. Can't. Like I said, it's up to you. So a variation on this, which I also find is helpful for memory in general, is to do speed throughs of scripts where you say the words as quickly as possible. And here's an example. Good morning, good morning. How do you feel? Great, I'm sure. What do you want for breakfast? Whatever, I'll fix this scrambled eggs, fine. You go to work this morning, have to. Oh, do you want me to stay home? It's up to you, can't. Like I said, it's up to you. So again, it's an acting exercise, but I think it's also an interesting one to do just as a general memory practice and training. I'm going to go through a somewhat longer script now. Same thing. Annie, come in where I can see you. Relax, Chris. It's really me. Honest. Sorry about that. Not a problem. You're my brother. Even if you're a bit of a nutcase these days, you look awful. Kiddo, still not sleeping? I can't. I don't want to. The dreams, like I told you. The same ones. The insane stuff. The violence. Like, I'm running. These guys are chasing me. I go into this basement and, and they find me, start in on me. One takes a knife out. They hold me down. They, what, kill you? I don't know, Annie. I wake up. I mean, I know it's crazy. I need help. More of those pills like you got me last time, a bigger dose to stop the dreams. Did you bring them? Yeah, but I don't like it. I've told you that. You should see a doctor, find out what's really going on. Okay. And again, here is a speed through version of that script. Annie, come in where I can see you. Relax, Chris. It's really me. Honest. Sorry about that. Not a problem. You're my brother. Even if you're a bit of a nutcase these days. So awful, kiddo. Still not sleeping. I can't. I don't want to. The dreams, like I told you. The same ones. The insane stuff. The violence. Like I'm running. These guys are chasing me. I go to the space, but and, and they find me. Still running. I want to set knife out. They hold me down. They, what, kill you? I don't know. Annie, I wake up. I mean, I know it's crazy. I need help. More of those pills. Like, get me this time. I figured out stuff. The dreams. Did you bring them? Yeah, but I don't like it. I've told you that. You should see a doctor. Find out what's really going on. So, um, <laughs> I find the memorizing scripts, doing speed throughs is actually a really fun exercise. And I feel like it's good for our memories generally. Now there are actually things that I do and that I teach my students to do, which make memorization easier, like word association exercises. And there's an exercise where you write down the first letter of every word in the script and you write down the letters repeatedly while thinking of the words and it kind of locks it in. So it's not just pure kind of random memory, there are associative exercises involved. Um, but I still find it a helpful gauge of how my memory is doing and so far so good. If you're curious, I'm 69 years old at the time that I'm recording this. Apart from those two stretches of time that I mentioned, both of which are old history and are fixed now, I haven't noticed any decline at all in my memory or my mental clarity. If anything, I feel that my mind is sharper and clearer than it was a few years ago. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. One good source of anti-aging supplements is Do Not Age. For a 10% discount on all of the products on their website, use the discount code PATHWAYS. Be sure to type it in all caps. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.